What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Wolfcryer here with patch notes for patch 2.6.7 in Diablo 3. This is for the upcoming PTR on Thursday, October 17th, and will introduce the seasonal theme for season 19, as well as two of the brand new sets incoming to Diablo 3. This will include the new Monk set and the Crusader set. So let's jump right in and discuss these patch notes for patch 2.6.7. First up, before we talk about the seasonal theme, they are going to make greater rift keys picked up by that vacuum pickup, similar to gold, which is pretty awesome. Hopefully someday this will extend to death's breaths, but we'll have to wait and see on that. But at least greater rift keystones will now be automatically picked up when you come close to it similar to how gold is picked up. And on the PTR and in season 19, the theme for the upcoming season is going to be the season of eternal conflict, which is going to introduce a brand new, kind of crazy new seasonal buff, which is going to be called Pandemonium. And it definitely sounds a little bit like Pandemonium. As you are playing and killing monsters, you will receive a buff which is going to grant you 0.05% increased movement speed and 0.1% increased damage every time you hit or kill an enemy within the last five seconds. And this can stack up to 50% additional movement speed and 100% additional damage. And in addition to that, the pandemonium comes in at certain levels of kills. You are going to also create an effect, which is pretty crazy for the most part. At 15 kills, you will release five massive energy twisters. At 30 kills, dark geysers form beneath enemies. At 50 kills, exploding chickens seek and destroy. At 100 kills, corpses rain from the sky. At 150 kills, a wide frost nova freezes all enemies. And at 200 kills, treasure chests fall from the sky. I'm not sure what this means exactly. We'll have to wait for the PTR to see exactly what that means. Maybe it just means those mimic type treasure chests just fall from the sky and kill enemies. Or maybe there's going to be chests that are lootable. I'm not too sure on that. But at 300 kills, a ring of fire engulfs everything. At 400 kills, meteors fall from the sky. And at 500 kills, angels descend upon the battlefield to fight for your cause. And there are question marks next to the 1000 kill bonus. So we'll have to wait and see from the PTR what exactly this is going to be. Hopefully it's something over the top crazy. Now I do worry about a little bit of lag problems, especially if you're playing hardcore in a group. They do say that the powers are tracked as a group, meaning you can only trigger one of these no matter how many people are in the group. So there won't be stacking of these effects. It'll just be one effect per group. But I do worry about this much stuff going on at the same time repetitively, especially in GRs when you're pushing and killing lots of monsters at a time. I mean, this could really affect gameplay. I'm not too sure on that. We're going to have to wait and see once again, like I said, because this could create a ton of lag. But overall, it sounds pretty fun. Pretty exciting to see this happening, at least, you know, in the initial stages of play. We'll see if it gets a little boring towards the end or just way too much on the screen. I, I can't wait to jump into this PTR. PTR is my favorite thing with Diablo 3. I love testing stuff, and this seasonal theme seems very over the top. Now, they did want to do this because a lot of people were complaining that the Triune buffs for Season 18... Those circles, they weren't really beneficial for melee class, and even ranged characters had to bounce around in order to get into them, so it wasn't something that was constantly affecting your character, like previous seasonal themes. So they wanted to give something that was going to do that, going to buff up your character as you're playing, and be noticeable at all times. And then, also introduced in patch 2.6.7 are two, of the new class sets. They are going to be releasing a new class set for every class in Diablo 3, 
And in season 19, we get two of those. One for the Crusader and one for the Monk. For the Crusader, we are going to be getting Aegis of Valor. The two-piece set bonus, Charged Bolts from Fist of Heavens, has a chance to cast another Fist of Heavens. For the four-piece bonus, Hitting with Fist of Heavens, reduces damage taken by 1% for 5 seconds, stacking up to 50 times, giving you a 50% damage reduction. And the six-piece set bonus, Increase the damage of Fist of Heavens, by 10,000%. We'll talk about the new legendaries in just a moment that are going to be helping this set out, as well as the legendaries that will help the new monk set up. And there are also new legendaries for barbarians. But first up, first and foremost, my favorite class, the monk, is getting its new set in Season 19. And that is going to be the Patterns of Justice set. And this is a sweeping win set. The two-piece set bonus, Sweeping Wind, gains the effect of every rune. The four-piece set bonus, each enemy within Sweeping Wind, increases your movement speed by 5%, which stacks up to 10 times, which will give you a 50% increased movement speed buff, which seems like this build is going to be crazy fast. And the six-piece set bonus, Attacking with Tempest Rush, while Sweeping Wind is active, will temporarily increase the size of Sweeping Wind after hitting over 30 times within a short period. Sweeping Wind damage is also increased by 10,000%. Now, I've always wondered about a Sweeping Wind build, if that could be possible, and unfortunately, with what we've got currently in Diablo 3, that was never going to be the case. The closest you could get was Inna's, and it didn't seem to be all that powerful. So hopefully this set actually becomes viable, and it utilizes Tempest Rush. Although I don't think you need to be using Tempest Rush in order to gain that 10,000% damage bonus. We'll have to wait and see for the PTR if I'm actually accurate on that, but I don't think you need... To be using tempest rush that's just going to increase the size of your sweeping wind i definitely want to test this out and see how the damage is from your sweeping wind and this sounds like it could be a very cool area of effect type of skill for the monk and this is going to be pretty awesome but now let's talk about some of the changes to legendary items that are going to help out these sets and a couple of other legendary items that are going to get some changes First up, Dark Light. Fist of Heavens has a 100% chance to be cast twice, and now has a additional legendary power, increases the damage of Fist of Heavens by 200 to 250%. And for the Monk, Eye of the Storm will now have a new legendary power. When Sweeping Wind hits exactly one enemy, its damage is increased by 100%. And I'm actually liking that Eye of the Storm is the piece of gear that is going to get this new legendary affix because your Sweeping Wind, as it has every single rune, is going to send out small tornadoes. It's going to be kind of a storm to begin with. So I think it's a very cool nod using Eye of the Storm, an already existing legendary, and adding that affix. Here's where things get a little bit interesting, though. Another thing that they've changed is Vengeful Wind. The maximum stack count of Sweeping Wind is now increased to 10. Instead of 6 to 7, now it's 10. And it now has an additional legendary power as well, which increases the damage of Sweeping Wind by 250 to 300%. Now, I do worry about this one because if you increase the stack count to 10, that's going to give you 13 stacks now instead of the original 10 that you were able to get by wearing a Vengeful Wind with 7 stacks, which is going to increase the damage of Sun Wuko's Wave of Light, which should also be able to knock Legacy of Dreams Wave of Light out of the contention and push Sun Wuko's back as the number one Wave of Light build. And it might actually be more powerful than this Sweeping Wind build. So we're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to test this out on the PTR and see if this just made Sun Wuko's Wave of Light ridiculously overpowered. 
Next up, we've got Chantoto's Resolve. The scaled attack speed damage bonus to Wave of Destruction has been reduced. Now, this is going to slightly nerf that Chantoto's Veer's Archon Wizard. So we're going to have to see how that plays out as well. So that might not be the best wizard build in Season 19. And then Wrath of the Wastes 6 piece set bonus the damage bonus now also applies to Rend. So now this is going to be a Whirlwind and Rend set completely. That increased damage is going to apply to Rend as well. So that gives another option for Barbarians using this set, which can be pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff to test out in this PTR and I can't wait to jump into it. Because they are also giving Lamentation another additional legendary power and this is going to increase the damage of rend by 150 to 200 percent and ambo's pride will have a new legendary power attacking with whirlwind also applies rend and the total damage of rend is dealt over one second the whirlwind build could be absolutely crazy in this upcoming season I didn't even read that Ambo's Pride part before I talked about Rend being a part of it. This is going to be a great increase of damage. This could actually push Whirlwind into the number one Barbarian build, which I think a lot of Barbarians out there might be happy to see. And Remorseless has lost that Hammer of the Ancients, has a 25-30% to 30 chance to summon an Ancient for 20 seconds, and instead has a brand new Legendary Power. And while both Wrath of the Berserker and Call of the Ancients are active, Hammer of the Ancients deals 200-250% to 250 more damage, also increasing the Hoda build for Barbarian, which is pretty beast this was already a pretty strong build in season 18 so it's good to see that it's getting buffed up a little bit and should still hopefully be able to compete with that brand new whirlwind build and fjord cutter no longer surrounds you with that chilling aura and instead has a new legendary power seismic slam attacks 50 percent faster and also deals 100 to 150 percent increased damage against slowed or chilled enemies. Embracers of Destruction Seismic Slam deals 400 to 500% increased damage to the first 10 enemies it hits. It used to be five. And Fury of the Ancients, Call of the Ancients gains the effect of the Ancients Fury Rune and your Ancients attack 100% faster. So Season 19 is also going to have some pretty big buffs for Barbarians, so definitely check out that PTR. Get in there and test it if you're a Barbarian player, because this could be game-changing, just as the previous seasons had a lot of stuff for the other characters, and Barb kind of felt like it was left by the wayside. Now there are going to be a ton of buffs for Barbarian, in this upcoming season 19. And one last item, the Bone Ringer for Necromancer now has a cap of 60 stacks, which I guess it was never intended for this to be some type of eternal stacking machine when it comes to being able to farm up those stacks over five minutes or so. This was never intended, so that Bone Ringer build for the Necromancer, for that Rift Guardian killer, has been nerfed. Bone Ringer can only stack up to 60 stacks now. And the last little bit on these patch notes is for Blighter. Blighter's Poison Tentacles area of effect now hits less frequently, but at higher damage. So it looks like Blighter could hit much harder in this upcoming season, and that's a shame because I've already lost one hardcore wizard to Blighter this season, which might make me rethink about going hardcore next season. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to be playing hardcore or softcore for season 19. I'll have to wait and see, weigh my options, see how that goes. But overall, these patch notes seem pretty amazing, seem pretty crazy for the most part. And I'm actually loving this. This is the type of stuff 
that I live for in Diablo 3. I love testing out new stuff. I love being able to try out new sets. Like these sets are going to be pretty awesome to test out. I'll probably have to roll both a Crusader and a Monk in Season 19. So I think that's going to happen because I want to be able to play both of these sets. I want to see how they stack up compared to other Crusader and Monk builds. And I can't wait to jump into this PTR and do some testing. I have already been back on Diablo 3. I've been playing a little bit more over the last few days, trying to gear up my monk a little bit more, using my wizard. But as I said, my wizard died. So unfortunately, I had to have him rebuilt. And I want to say thank you to Cookie Boy and Atric for helping me power level another one, getting him all set. And now it's actually stronger than my previous wizard which is pretty awesome so i will be back to streaming diablo 3 and i will definitely be streaming some ptr starting on thursday and getting some playtime testing these new sets and these new items all right ladies and gentlemen thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video i always greatly appreciate it don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let me know down in that comment section down below if you are excited about season 19 your thoughts on this new seasonal theme as well as the new sets and new changes to the barbarian gear because overall i think it's a very good patch because barb needed some love and this new seasonal theme is just crazy and who doesn't love new sets in diablo 3 i think the last time we got new sets was season 4 so it's been a long time coming. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so very much. And you all have a fantastic day. Peace.